through another rainy day in July. That isn't the way our summers are supposed to be here, but you know, it's not unprecedented. Tonight, we take you back to a very wet July 25 years ago in our archives. Some local car washes are open anyway, but owners say, so what? We're not making any money. There are only a handful of folks brave enough to risk the rain and try to get their wheels washed. You thought you could make it, and the sun was going to come out and it wasn't going to rain, right? And now I wasted my money getting a car wash. Do you think it'll ever stop raining? No. It has to. <laughs> no. Mike Weller's been washing cars for 35 years here in the scenic city. He says this summer, usually the peak of the car washing year, has been horrible. The only time I can remember it being this bad was back in 1973. As you can see, the big flood almost wiped out High's car wash. We've been flooded out twice. But uh, this year we didn't get it. We, didn't, we weren't flooded out yet, but we may as well have been flooded out because uh, people are not washing their cars right now. On a typical hot July day, Highs will wash more than 150 cars. These days, he washes about five. Yes, five. My bank account is dwindled. It sure has. Yeah. So I guess obviously you're uh, hoping for at least that it quit raining for a while. Well, I've got anybody in my place praying, all of them. So the car washer's creed these days, it would seem, is rain, rain, go away, come again another day, please. Paul Gallon, News Center 12.